Hey guys, welcome to game six, and I'm wondering if this is going to go to a game seven. Masucci in the upper right hand corner. As Green Zerg, bottom right hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the Black Zerg. Once again, the Overlords are going to cross paths. Which means, first of all, there's going to be equalized scouting information. Second of all, might be more of a flat mind game skill based engagement. It's been a fantastic series thus far. I have to say, seeing all of the matches, and especially seeing Rancor kind of getting a, a rough start, it's Rancor can obviously take games off Masuchi, even from behind. But what it's looking like is, is Masuchi just has that edge. And I don't know if it's just in build order selection alone, because he has certainly had a lot of advantages in the build order selection side of things. But just seems overall in just a few it feels like rancor's pill, uh, pulled some tricksy stuff that's managed him to sneak some matches but that that declines when you're doing bests of sevens looks like we are seeing a nine pool for rancor and i'm almost wondering if this is the aspect is, is all too often rancor has opted for a nine pool where we've seen masuchi opt more often for the 12 pools it's kind of a default build, which has put Masuchi at that slight advantage overall. Extractor being morphed. There is the 12th pool in the upper right-hand corner, actually. Yeah, I think that was 12th pool. So Masuchi, once again, going to have that slight economic lead. This, The Overlords seeing each other and just immediately... Looks like Rancor altering course a little bit because he wants to... This is kind of a clever play, and I'm wondering if that's an indicator... On the opposite side from Masuchi, when the Overlord alters course, because that means, okay, Zerglings are going to get in there and potentially get scouting information. Masuchi moving out, going to go ahead and drop that hatchery. Might have to cancel it. We'll see. Initial Zerglings being produced. The Overlord, keep in mind, from Masuchi is going to see these Zerglings as they flood across the map. And it is going to be Zergling speed before layer this time. On the opposite side... We'll have to wait for the gas to pile in, but the initial Zerglings are being produced. It looks like that last set is going to be a little bit delayed. And we'll see if drones get pulled off the line once again for Masuchi to defend. That has been his MO. So yeah, two drones pulling off the line, which is, again, going to be slight economic delays. Will be a big win for Rancor if he can either pick off drones, pick off Zerglings. It's going to come down to Micro Wars, and unfortunately, without an advantage like Zergling speed, it can be challenging. Looks like he is going to back off this. Trying to get... Ooh, does get a little bit of a hit right there. But I think he's going to back off and wait for Zergling Speed to finish before he re-engages. Looks like Zergling Speed is going to be slightly delayed by, I don't know, a couple, a handful of seconds right there. Some more engagement on the front. Doesn't look like there were strikes either direction. Two more Zerglings coming across the line to kind of group and assist. Keep in mind, Masuchi has the closer reinforcement point. So even with the delay, or even with inferior numbers, it can work out. Getting us around that hatchery is going to finish. Rancor looking for better concavity now that he has Zergling Speed, realizing he has kind of this small window. And after doing that little bit of attack damage, once again backing up. At the very least, he's preventing mining at this natural expansion and getting a little bit of an economic advantage. Now engaging! Got decent concavity overall. The drones have been there, but two additional Zerglings approach. And going to engage four on two here, but two more Zerglings coming across the line. That was a lot of delayed mining time for Masuchi, but he's still holding that natural expansion. Lair about halfway finish from here. Lair already finished on Rancor's side. Spire has been planted. So even though Rancor was back two drones, keep in mind two drones have been off the line for an incredible amount of time for Masuchi. More Zerglings starting to flood across. A creep colony being dropped to plant a Sutton colony. Interior Rancor able to slip some Zerglings through somehow. Turning around at the ramp, trying to get some additional kills, not quite able to capitalize and as he was outnumbered. See if he gathers up and goes uh, goes defensively. Rancor, with that, is going to plummet to 7 drones versus 10. Spire about halfway finished, so he's going to have to get it done in the air. Spire just finishing, so it's going to be a larger window here. Trying to bait the Zerglings up the ramp and get surrounds in smaller numbers. This is 8 Zerglings versus 6. At equalized positioning. Ooh, one Zergling getting caught off the line, which is not what Rancor needs, especially already being outnumbered. Three Zerglings pulling out. That creep colony is finished, though. 
and can defend a lot of this territory, but the Zergling's going to see that Spire timing. I guess the Overlord saw it anyway. Did the Overlord see it? Where that, oh, that Overlord already returning to home base after that Spire finishing. Mulus now in production. A lot of Zerglings here for Masuchi. Two more going to try to join. That's going to pin these Mutalisks in a defensive position. Trying to pick off drones on the corner. Able to delay a little bit of mining time. Is able to get a drone right there. And now he's got double the drone count overall. So Rancor needs to pull off magic with his Mutalisks. Absolute magic. He does have the something colony to work with. Keep in mind. But I don't know. This this looks like an insurmountable lead now for Masuchi. And the Mutalists trying to engage those Zerglings. Despite having the Sunken Colony here. Now uh, floating forward. And how long is it going to be? The Mutalists are already being produced on the opposite side of the map. So whatever time window there was, yeah. So some Zerglings get picked off. But Masuchi holds that all-too-critical drone lead. And there's also an Overlord that's at a more vulnerable position at that 9 o'clock location. Masushi able to pull out. So the one advantage that Rancor has is maybe he can pump some drones right here. But even with that, he's going to fall further and further behind the Mutalist count. Looks like some Scourge were produced. So might get a little bit of a reprieve. Maybe if he can micro against this. Mutalist fanning out, hoping to find another Overlord someplace, but not finding anything. And now, Masuchi, all he has to do is, yeah, continue to produce with what he has, defend that natural expansion, maybe catch some Mutalists out of position, and he should win this match. The question is, is win. Moving up, pecking away at an Overlord on the corner. Almost able to get a Zergling right there as well. The Mutalists and Scourge engaging. Maybe if he can bait out the Scourge to a corner, he might be able to pick one or two of them off. But this is also allowing these Mutalists to go ahead and find open field. This Zergling, did it scout that Overlord? Not sure that it did. These Mutalists looking to engage, realizing that there's a positional advantage, but Masuchi might be making a mistake here and re-engaging all the Scourge landing on this side. But it's three on three, and those Scourge were expended. This is a, a fourth Mutalist moving up, a Scourge being produced on Rancor's side of the map. He's still down drones overall, but might be able to pick off a Mutalisk or two. If he can get some range attack fire going. Zerglings are making their way across to try to force some nice micro in the midst of that. Now these mules are going to have to come back to home base. The drone count still remains in Masuchi's favor. Supply count is there as well. The Zerglings sneaking across. The single mules being forced to play on the defensive. And is another drone going to get picked off on this side of the map? Masuchi... Can just confident. Yeah, another drone gets picked off. Oof. So rough time for Rancor. Nine drones to 17. Masuchi was just pumping them in the meantime. And he's going to go ahead and grab that second gas. So all he has to do is, yeah, just keep building, like, even with what he's got just flat right here, all he has to do is keep building Mutalisks and he win, will win this match. Currently with the Superior Fleet, I think Rancor realizes it, trying to engage, find something, try to pick off some drones using the Scourge as a deflection point. Nice engagement right there overall, doing what it needs to do, but counter scourge in the air. And I think after this exchange, that's GG. Yep. So Masuchi takes set three, is now up two sets to one. And we'll move on to game one of set four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.